That's a good pass, Paul. She gone. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here for the day. <laughs> and just Keep going. <laughs> Go back a little bit. Did, how, how did you get into playing golf, being being the greatest surfer? That I I got played? in. I used to play about a round a year with best friends at home, and it was kind of a joke. We'd go and just bet money, and I think the four of us over 18 holes at the par three executive we'd go to, we didn't make one par <laughs> every year. I, I love the the mechanics. Yeah. Not just for golf because it it translated to surfing for me when I started playing golf. And I've, okay. maybe I've told you this before, but my best years on tour were the two years, I, the first two years I started playing golf. Right. And I was super into the technical analysis of how my body related to the board and the board related to the wave. Uh -huh. And golf helped me a lot, especially with my, the plane of my shoulders uh -huh. and not doing this, you know, because right. I show people when I surf, if I dip my front shoulder like this, my weight goes into my front heel like this and I get out. I get out over my skis, I have that so problem speak. heaps when I surf too. You've you? seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So the fix for that I learned from golf was like, well, especially with the, it's easier now with the Mo idea because mm -hmm. it's, there's a straight line here, right? There's no hinge there or there. So we're going straight. Straight. Mo. And then. This is my surf lesson, yeah. by the way. And then, so that's a straight line back here. Yeah. This shoulder has to drop there, right? Like this hand's a little bit lower than this hand. So the shoulder's going to be lower. Uh -huh. And it's kind of in, in like this. Oh, yeah. So you, there's a straight line there, and then there's a straight line there. Then your shoulders are turning more on the same plane, we're saying. Yeah, on somewhat. The surfboard you don't want to be doing too much swing. of this or this. Yeah, right. But if one's going to drop below the other, I like the back to drop down because that puts me here. Uh -huh. See how that's lower? Uh -huh. And when I turn, I'm here, so I'm stable in both feet. I'm not, I'm not like gotcha. on my front heel. Yeah, and then your weight's really balanced, and all your power is very effective and efficient, just like the golf yeah. swing as you turning up the chain like for myself i'm pretty good at it at the golf swing and really <laughs> terrible at it on a surfboard <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> Like for me, when I surf, people, t you know, I've been told to use my arms and lift my arms up and stuff. Yeah, don't listen and to those guys. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's telling yeah, you that? Yeah. I'm going to call them and yell at them. I think there are all kinds of similarities, so it's no, no uh, coincidence you're really good at golf because, like, it's an individual thing. This ball is stationary. You've got to make it move. Surfing, yeah. you're in the elements. Every wave is kind of different. You know, yeah. you have to read so many things you have yeah. to read the wind out here there's a lot of stuff to do the I mean, individual stuff i think that's what appeals to me yeah because like when you if you play in a team sport and somebody else screws up you didn't have control over that you know so like in in surfing or golf or yeah a lot of the sports is real solitary you can you blame yourself or fix it yourself should we hit a few what are you going to hit at i got a nine iron at that blue at the second blue yeah yeah all right let's do it oh. Did you get that one on camera? There it is. Oh my god, I'm, I've, I've stiffened up too. How do you line a shot? Do you walk up behind it and get a point to look at it? Or do yeah. You, can you I'm, just judge it? I'm a, I aim the club face to a, uh, a spot here, yeah. check it with the target and then kind of go. I try not to get into looking at my grip and my toes and my knees and yeah. my hips. I do that same thing, but I always use my club like this to make sure I got that line right. For me, I can turn into too much of a perfectionist in uh. doing things. And like if I start getting too into the exact line, this and that, I get a little, I lose like my reactiveness. And so like we've played a bit over the years. What do you think something I do that you go, why does he do that? 
when you like, golf? Yeah. Like, why is he doing that? Because well, why do you put it so close to the pin all the time? Because <laughs> I have to beat you. Cause you're because so, you're so good, I actually, I got to play good <laughs> to beat you. Like the first time we ever played in Hawaii, you showed up on like the fifth hole in a pair of oh, yeah. trainers. He was when late. And then he hit a four iron and it hung on the lip for an albatross on the final hole, like how it didn't go in. I mean, one thing I find with golf is you get the best result when you're like totally committed to a shot. Yeah. Like you have to totally commit to a yeah. shot. Otherwise it's weak, it's in a bunker, it plugs. It's a double bogey, you don't get a do over. There's no doubt like surfing critical waves, mm -hmm. you'd have to totally commit. Would critical you say waves, that's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, critical waves, you just, you're dangerous. You know, waves were especially like something life-threatening. Uh huh. There, you just, you just have to get into a place where you're not doubting what your choice yeah. is. So in golf, it's like a pre-shot routine. What in surfing, when you're deciding to go, I mean, you don't have a lot of time. Yeah, to... you're hoping one of your friends is yelling at you to go. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is if you're going and somebody's like, no, no, no. Yeah, that's right. But um, I generally feel like if I've made the decision to catch a wave. I, I got to get rid of the fear. I don't, yeah. I don't think about that. I go, I've already made that decision that I might get hurt. I, I, I might die surfing. I, it's just, I think for people who like to chase dangerous waves, it's, an, it's something you've already accepted because mm -hmm. we've all had friends die. So right. that's part of, you know, it, sound, it sounds irrational or like unreasonable, but it's, it's part of why, why we love what we do so much because there is that inherent danger when I was a little kid, I remember Tom Curran, who was my all-time favorite. Like I tried to do everything Tom Curran did. And I remember him saying one time that, you know, in, sometimes in order to not get hurt, you have to go for it. Right. And that always stuck with me. And it, it's really become, it's really rung more and more true all these years that you have to completely commit to the thing you're doing. I mean, whatever it is, yeah. you know, a relationship, for sure. having a kid, yeah. catching a wave, a golf swing. Like when you fully commit, then you don't, you don't kick yourself for the result, you know, like I, I chose that. Yeah. You've definitely put in a lot of work like around your game, but I think it's time for us to have a little game and maybe hit a couple drivers. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Find out how far Kelly Slater hits it. Yeah, I don't know how long I hit it. <laughs> I don't know. We all, we all hit it about 20 yards further in our minds than we actually hit it. <laughs> what it is, it's gonna be this. How just, accurate are these? They're, they're even these good. little things are super accurate now, huh? They're pretty good. And is yeah. that getting, that? what's that field of view that this thing it's gets? It's taking the impact data. That's so crazy. Yeah. Such cool tech. Okay, we're gonna go one for one. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Some good speed there. That's a good first ball. What is that? 266. 266. 2400 spin. It's all good stuff. What's the long? Go again. 12.7? That's good. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, go again. That's kind of like, yeah, if long, I just slightly miss one, that's that a it. little higher. 270. Yeah. Just a little higher launch, a little more carry. Yep. Do you want to go? No, you go. I can't see you. <laughs> She gone. What do we got there? 14.7 launch, 2100. 321. Carry 321. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna just, sit here. I'm just. I'm gonna sit here for the day. <laughs> do you ever hit? Uh, do you ever hit ground drivers? Yeah. Let's see you hit one off the ground here. I'm getting challenged. Will you to, go flat? Uh, will you go flat, or you prop it up a little? Uh, let's I'm see getting... if I can. Let's see if I can get one. Oh. We got that one. Oh, that was terrible. I gotta try one more. Wow. That's impressive. He gone. Is that a 310? 305, 304. 304. <laughs> well, it's fun. It's, you know, for me, it's fun to hit a straight ball. So my whole thing's really geared around that. That. <clears throat> if I can work on getting some more distance, that'd be great. But. Everyone, I like to be in play. Everyone wants that. I like, I like to be in straight. play. I like straight. <laughs> I'll work on my surfing too. Yeah. See. Yeah, that, that oh, move. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mate. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. All right. Good on you. Cool. Ready? Ready? Ready to surf.